to know what collect or not to see if they are in a specific uh, symbiotic association with uh, some species is, is difficult. Okay. I love that pinky coral color. All right, so I did a very very quick search and squat lobsters generally eat small marine worms or crustaceans or scavenge on dead animals. So I guess they're just hanging out in the coral then. Oh, that's a good picture. Whoa. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, so it does look like a zoanthid growing over that. That looks cool. That is cool. It's like if cobwebs are alive. <laughs> you know? Okay. It's a good zoom. You can really you see can the mouths on the zoanthids. Carry on. Yeah, right, like count the tentacles for so close in. It's incredible that we have a camera that we can do that with. Oh, it's really beautiful. Start get going. Can we come wide, please? I'm right above you and a little bit ahead. Stick off, there we go. Wow. This is kind of cool. What is this? Is that one is that still alive? alive? No, that's also a dead one, but that, like, Trita Plura sponge again. Right, I'm just going to continue on. It was cool. I, bet that hmm. I wonder if the squat lobster would eat that. With the, um, with the face on the aft deck and the cranes. It looks like a squat lobster. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it does. Wait, it really does. No, I can't it's a squat see that. <laughs> that's, that's really cute. Every time I look up, that deck is just smiling at me. <laughs> I heard like an exacerbation, like as if like you had just forgotten about it. <laughs> You're like, I oh, just No, it was because I didn't. <laughs> the cranes really do look like its arms. <laughs> Is that like an indentation in the rock, or is that all flat? Or is it all what? Flat. It looks like it looked like it was going in, but it might just be Ooh. the lights off the Can Hercules. Can we look at that, please? The little spongy. Yeah, whatever's on the left there. Do you see it, James? Oh, sorry. I uh. Down. <laughs> yeah, I see it now. Maybe it's another cyclocalis. Clearly, in my own world. It looks smoother. <laughs> Ooh, and there's a fish. Oh, yay. Rat tail or something. Mm. And a lens flare. Is that another halosaur type eel like fish? Oh, I think I see a small. Yeah, a rat tail. It's hard to tell. One as well. Well. It's upper right. Gone now. Zoom in if you'd like. Yes, please. So we just passed the 2,000 meter mark too. Ooh. Yes. I want to have a catch back up soon. Kind of looks like a chalice. Yeah. It's right, hard to, to tell from up. this angle. Just letting you know we can't stay here long. Okay. Uh, it's hard to tell from this side. It's not Sacucalyx, so if it's Bolosoma, maybe. I can't see uh, if it has like another concave face on the other side, maybe. But that is good there. Thank you. Okay, continuing on. Wow, we're still quite far from waypoint four. Oh. Ooh, 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 hello. Friends. Oh yeah, what is that? Oh, Two that's a big, big fish. Oh, a few that's of them. huge. There's two of them. Okay, 
we're just going to uh, continue on because we're... Okay. That line was getting close to the wall, wall here. Yeah, now it feels like Mike? we're heading straight up. Yeah. Cool. Oh, nice. bumble car. Thing, wow, look at that. Stuff. Yeah, things and we're moving fast. Oh, it's too bad. We're gonna, maybe gonna keep, here. Gotta keep going. Let's read the gorgeous, maybe. Oh, wow. You wanted to see that? Things are getting exciting. Did you circle something? Oh, is that a, I don't know, you is that a jellyfish? You can continue, yeah, no. Want me to follow the jellyfish? Uh, we can catch up and earn some, earn some look around time. This is really cool yeah, assemblage of sponges. There's a lot yeah. of stocks there. There's a lot of stuff here. It looks like there used to be a lot. But we're definitely getting to some more living. Oh, what is that? Something over the right. fish that some looks sort. cool. Yeah. We should look at that. It looks like Chanakobs maybe. Mm. But oh yeah. Ah. It is. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> we, they, usually they're on the bottom. Oh it's gosh. cool to see it actually swimming. What is this called? I think it's Chanakops or Chanux. I don't know which one. I, I can't tell. Oh, those ones that like grip the. Yeah, like look, it's, it's funny little. Oh, uh, she's got arms. Yeah. She's got little fingers. <laughs> oh my, oh gosh, my gosh. gosh. It looks seen. like it's just like dragging <laughs> its <laughs> arms <laughs> behind it. It's adorable. Oh my gosh. I've never seen them swim like this. Oh yeah. This is a. This oh, is a. That is angle. awesome. This just became my new favorite fish. Oh. They're so much smaller than you'd think that they Look are. Look at their little face. He reminds me of the glub glub fish, the <laughs> okay, We're coming fish. up under at Atlantis, so I'm gonna, unfortunately, gotta turn away from this guy. Oh, oh. man. How do you, sp can you spell that for me when you get a second? Here, um, I don't know if it's Chonix or Chonicops, but I will pull up the spelling for you. I think it's Chonicops. Cool. So C-H-A-U-N-A. C O P S Chana Cops. Thank you much. Yep. I got yeah. some, hopefully some decent photos. That was cool. It looks like That's it's still a over there on the side of Her is that Hercules or Atlanta? Atlanta. Um it's gone now. That was cool. That was cool. Sorry, we couldn't follow it for longer. That's okay. That's all right. And some more. This is unrela unrelated, but I just realized that the... It's another hemichorallium or two, yeah. The mess doesn't have the, the panini press anymore. No, it doesn't. And I was so sad about that last cruise. Yeah. I because that's like, that is mid rats, you know? We yeah. have sandwich supplies in the fridge, but, yeah. was, you know, I really don't want to like eat those unless they're panini pressed. I'd be making like grilled <laughs> cheese oh, and stuff. We've got a bamboo yeah. coral here. Uh -oh, we're going to start like, the oh, food. Man, how am I going to make grilled cheese? Guys, I'm nice so hungry. Thing. We made it until 3.15. <laughs> I've been doing nothing but eat this entire time. You all need to bring snacks. Yeah, I finished my pocky. <laughs> all right, so my question for you all then is pancakes or waffles? Which waffles. do you prefer? Waffles. 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 Yeah. Everybody's waffles? Oh, yeah. Yeah, unless you're like batty. Mm, both. <laughs> pancakes are great for the first like 10 seconds and then they turn into a hot mess. And waffles, you can make like waffle sandwiches. You can do chicken waffles. You can do... True. Savory waffles, or sorry, uh, sweet waffles like covered in <laughs> strawberries and whipped cream. Oh my goodness. There's more options to make it unhealthy. Waffle better. makers are extremely easy to use as long as someone else is cleaning up the mess. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's a We're nice bamboo nice curl. Uh, this is how I know that waffles will superior. Again, I don't. Oh, here is maybe one node there. Yep. That looks cool. So it's an internodal branching and bamboo coral. Translucent. There's another one. Yeah, mm. and another. So internodal oh, okay. branching. I'm going to just add that to my. Oh, they're closed up. Sure. That and is a really good close it's up. Because it's like right on the camera. Yeah. It's beautiful. Like. Nice. Cool. Yeah, see, there you go. Whoop. 
one way that I know that wa everyone likes waffles are better and they're superior is because when you go to a hotel place or you go out, <laughs> like, or like, whatever, there's always a waffle station. <laughs> it's never a pancake pan. There's also know? always <laughs> an omelet station. So then the, 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 that, I think, leads to the second question. Omelet or scrambled? Oh. Uh, uh, omelet is just scrambled with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Inside. Um, scrambled as long as scrambled it's not like in. overcooked. Yes, I do you know, not I want like, like a dried up scrambled. I think there is yeah. another bamboo, bamboo core out yep. in the uh, right. More, sorry, another I was looking friend. at this little fishy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fish is cool. We can zoom on the fish first. It's 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 leaving us. <laughs> uh oh, we have zoom zoom. Zoomy zoomy zoom. All right, so we have a question about how big do squat lobsters get? Looks uh, like that's uh, a good question. It looks like um, I just did a quick search. It's so hard to tell. Stop swimming away, buddy. Right. Is about that a McCrude? Half an inch to three and a half inches. A little rat tail. Is the biggest. Or yeah, I, that's a, a McCrude. Okay, let's go back to that. M A C R U, O U. Coral. This coral over here. This one. McCrude. Yeah, R I D. Yeah, quick zoom on that, although we don't need long. Oh, and there's a tiny Walteria sponge on the bottom right. Mm, I saw it. There's something in it's like there, Walter, right? but then Ia. Yeah, I love that. Nice and easy. And a different sponge on the left there than we've been seeing also. Wow. Uh, other left. We've seen a lot of sponges. To see something we different have. is pretty remarkable. Mm -hmm. That photo wasn't, didn't come out very well. Oh well. It was okay. I'll try again. I'll get the photo. Bamboo coral as well. Oh, chewing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what are you chewing on? <laughs> My bad. There? I'm oh. eating Cliff Bar. I am just <laughs> trying to stay awake over here. Uh, I was like, is that like a heartbeat? Wow, well, we, did, we, we, did <laughs> 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 we did start talking about breakfast foods as well. I just mentioned a panini. Well, we're not <laughs> well, even going to get our true. breakfast foods. We're about to go. Right. Sorry, the panini got me thinking about breakfast. <laughs> Which we which we probably won't. I know because no. we're gonna fall asleep. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't matter. There are no waffles at breakfast time. Anyway. Yeah, true. Uh, <laughs> what's the sponge? Ooh, yeah, what's the what's right in front of us? Right in the center. Right in the middle there. Right in the middle. With you. <laughs> doesn't look like it has a stalk on it. Mm. Hold on a sec. We'll get closer and then I'll look down at it. Something on um, one of those higher rocks that I'm curious about as well after this. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's a cool looking sponge, whatever this is. You can uh, zoom in if you'd like. Ooh. Awesome. Whoa. Oh, um, yes, this is another type that we have not seen yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is this? Is like a trepa, trepa or something here? Oh, I need to remember. Are you talking about the said. fear of uh, little hole, like no. bio biological holes or something? Pores, I guess? Pores, yeah. Pores Do you have hard? that fear? No. But I well, find it weird. <laughs> I, I find it fascinating that. that people like have that, you know? Like, I, I don't particularly get it, but, um, oh, but th there's a fascination though when I see it, so I, I mean, there has to be something there, right? Atlanticella, Steve says. Steve says Atlanticella, really? Similar to it, anyhow. Mike, when you have a second, can you bring up the gauges? Is camera? that just resting on the, on the floor? Or do we think it might have a small stock? Uh, it has camera. like a small thing that it's radiating from the center. Oh, okay. Or moving that. To but it. I that's just, um, every now and then I like to take a peek.
It's so not curled back or that, rippled. That one hasn't moved. Like right, many Atlanticella. But okay, Steve says Atlanticella. All right, are we happy? Yeah. All right, can we zoom out, please? All right, keep her going. What I like about this shore scientist portal is that I can see how everything is spelled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was calling it a chana cobs, like a corn Cob. cob. <laughs> chana cobs. I loved it, like dangling its weird pectoral Ooh. fins. So this is a, there's still this a crinoid a using this dead sponge. It's cool. Take a look at that. We can get ahead too. It looks like there's, we'll probably come across fun stuff. All right. 1,965 meters. 14 no, shrimp. No, no, 14 no, shrimp. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Oh, we should zoom oh, on both of cool. these. Two Is that for. A gold pearl? Um. Wow. No, I don't think it's Chrysogorgid. That's another snake star on oh, the coral. Oh, beautiful. Wow, that's beautiful. That's pretty. Um, also like a brazelid, but squatty and with long projections. Is that just Dictyolus? Let me look if that's like Dictyolus. Look at those hairy s hairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very scientific. <laughs> it might be Dictyolus. I'm going to put on the highlight. Hairy sea sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those hairy hairs there. <laughs> um, Dictyolus is D-I-C-T-Y-A-D-I-C-T-Y-A-U-L-U-S. Question mark. <laughs> I'm assuming the... And then if we could look at the coral behind it. Hairs please. are trapping some of the marine snow. That'd be a good assumption. I don't know. Hmm. But uh, in fairness here, I haven't seen much of marine snow um, is more what we seeing here is more the sediments that uh, Hercules. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So looks like a very strong current here and can be seasonal in terms of uh, marine snow as well. Yeah. 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 In this dive, um, <laughs> I haven't seen very very strong. So probably what we are seeing here is more the sand and the sediment on yeah. the ground. Yeah. Could we uh, zoom on that coral when you? Yes. Yeah. I just uh, wanted to get it nice and stable. Yeah. Sure. Is so it by that color could, that you um, can tell the difference It's got a star between? on it, or thingy on it, the coral. The snow and the sediment? Um, it depends. Sometimes just the, the pattern. Um, uh, okay. And now we are seeing that it was before clear and when the Hercules uh, set, tried to settle and then... Wow, that's you can see. really pretty too. Ooh. We gotta zoom away. It's cool. Oh, nice. It's got a thingy it in it. It looks almost covered in zoanthids. Like it or looks at least one. Like that's not the coral. I think that's just one. Hmm. Giant. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It looks like it might used to have been hemichorallium, and yeah, now it's maybe. covered in zoanthids. So I see. I see. I see. What do you think, Steve? Steve is typing. I think he showed us some photos of something similar. Old coralid colony covered in so many Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, we can move on there. <coughs> uh, or actually hold real quick some discussion on the sponge no problem. in the science chat. You can keep it zoomed in if you want, Pons.
They're in there, far behind. Every time I think I've got it, it sort of sliding away. <laughs> hmm. You can start moving. Yeah. All right. Can I continue on? Um, we are still up. We're going to pass on this one. Yep, yes, we can continue. Okay. What's here? Oh, is that a black coral? Yeah. yeah. Can we take a quick look at that black coral? That is uh, not actually black, but... Is that down there? Yes, black coral. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't zoomed on too many of these, but we did have a, uh, a scientist ashore requesting to look at if there were worms on them. So if it, if it is not black, why did they get the name black coral? The skeleton inside is black. Oh, okay. Can zoom in there Similar to with the with the chrysogorgids, chryso for gold, the skeleton inside is gold. Oh, okay. Then Hayisa, you just told me something interesting about the term antipathies. Also. I think this one probably is uh, batipathies. Yeah. Yeah. So the name uh, antipatherian. That's the scientific name for black corals. They yeah. came from um, a, actually a cultural belief good that the black corals helps to any illness or sickness. Mm. So anti, like it would be against empathy, pathology, like um, uh, sickness or use. So some cultures like here in Hawaii, in Japan, um, they they believe it is to have a piece of um, the coral and of the the black corals could protect them. Hmm, that's cool. They're also used in jewelry and, and things, right? Are black corals? Are yeah. they not? Yeah, for jewelry, and uh, they have been heavily harvested as yeah. well because of that, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize black corals too. The, uh, the hemichorallium, like the pink ones we saw earlier, those are precious corals. Those are also oh, are they? used in jewelry. I can see why they were beautiful color. Yeah. Okay. Another bamboo. Did you see that pseudo alternata ID from Steve in the chat? Sorry? The Pse um, pseudo alternata. Yes, I did. For That was for the for one the that black we coral. Had, the black coral. Oh, uh, look okay. at the sea sponge. Oh, yeah. That, so that looks like polyopagon.
This one seems to wrap more like you were saying for the last one, right? That it wraps up. Yeah, they have kind of like this concave face. Um, Polyopgon does what's facing us right now. Good morning, yes, yeah, so and if you are just logging on to our notuslive.org, we are exploring an unnamed geot north of Johnston Atoll, and we are currently at 1,958 meters, about 30 minutes left on the, on this watch, but we do still have a lot of a lot more diving to do. So yes, the questions are open, and we are taking any questions if you'd like to go ahead and post them on the website. That's good there. Thank you. All right, yep, come on, please. So many different sponges. That's more Rigadrala and another sack of calyx. That's an even taller one. Some yeah, that one's pretty big, and that's got a b cool crinoid on it. Um, if we could zoom on the crinoid. Yeah, so it seems like crinoids that. are using other things to hold them up. Is to get higher up in the water column, yeah, oh, okay. for feeding. Um, I forget what this one is, this crinoid. I think it oh, starts so with pretty. an X, like a Z something. I'm going to look it up. So it's actually latched around the stalk of that sea sponge. Mm -hmm. Look how fast the current is moving here, too. Yeah, Yeah, it's, it's blowing up uh, kind of up and across the slope. It looks like he's hanging on for dear life. I know. Kind of looks like an air plant to me. Hmm. Oh, I was wrong. Sathrometra. This is it. Oh, sorry, what were we going to say? No, that's the, the crinoids. They attached here in the zoom. We could see the. See, he's the, the short tentacles that they have. Sathometra. Sathometra. Cool. Not even close. Hold <laughs> 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 on. Did you want to take who? More, a longer look at that, or did you want to? Nope, that's going? good. I'm good. I pride myself on my spelling. spelling. I actually won the fourth grade spelling bee. Oh. Nice. And this is humbling me. You need to start asking the origins of the word. Uh, yeah. The origins of the name. Oh, that's nice. Oh my gosh, 20 minutes, y'all. <laughs> do we don't can bring do it. it. Oh, it's not. <laughs> don't look at it. I feel like we're just getting started. Oh, yeah. Just get it Four more hours. So, so we used to 12 hour shifts. Wow. Mm. Maybe maybe today I'll finally sleep till when our watch is actually supposed mm. to get up. We kept having, we've all had like morning meetings. It's been we've so been hard. like waking up at 9.30 and then staying yeah. up till 4 a.m. What's funny is I've been waking up at like 4.30 or 5 a.m. every morning. No. So now I'm like. <laughs> For the interactions? <laughs> well, just like. In general? I, yeah, my oh, body's still no. on a different time zone, so. I haven't slept. <laughs> or maybe it's the espresso machine that's calling me in the yeah. morning. <laughs> Where's this espresso machine? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Notice it took a second. We <laughs> espresso machine here? Uh, never no. mind. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, we're getting to some cool stuff here. Wow, so All many dead still, but we, there's oh. a lot of hemicorallium. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Wow. This also looks like there's some rocks we could pick up. Hey. Yeah, that's true. It does Wait. actually it sort of like look nice like that. a little bust up. So those are all We're getting kind of near waypoint close. four. Yes, good, we good are. Good job, people. Yes. Um, well, looks well. like hemicorallium. Ooh, a big What's that sponge there? in the background. It's a polyopagon oh. again. Oh, yeah. Let's go take Giant. a look at that. We'll, take, we'll see this one first. Uh, oh, it's OK. Take the big, uh, we, big know, one we know what it okay. be. You see the big white one? Yes, yeah. let's look at the big polyopagon. It looks like an umbrella. Whoa, that's so cool. Or like, a, like an old school satellite dish that you yeah, have to get cable TV from. Dish. I like how that's old school. <laughs> yeah. So where, where is the lasers? Like, oh wow, it's really Yeah, big. it's like a m yeah. 70 centimeters mm. or something. Is that, a, is that a coral above it? Yeah. Oh, we're finally seeing some cool big fan corals. Just yeah. in time for the next shift. I yes. know, <laughs> I know. So this is a polyopagon, you said? A yes, large one? Yes, it is. A, they get even bigger than this. They get huge. Uh, How big is that? I mean, I know like I can see Maybe 70 centimeters, centimeters tall, tall, like okay. 30, 40 centimeters wide. I feel like it's bigger than That's that. That's probably bigger, her, 40. Uh, Argus's or Adelanda's view. Mm. Yeah. Can we zoom out, please? Oh yeah, look at it from above. That's awesome. And if we could, uh, yeah. yeah, look at the coral behind it. Do you want to get a closer look at this one first? Sure. Since we're going to pass it. So many things to Might look at. Might as well. Wow. It's okay, team. We'll have our rock star watches mm -hmm. where we, <laughs> we show up to the cool stuff. Blue water. Yeah, we didn't have to blue water today. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> then if we had, had blue water, we'd have to do blue water radio, you know? Yeah. yeah. That would have been perfect for Coral Oki. Uh, <laughs> <I think we laughs> oh, my God. Nice. That looks pretty cool. All right. Cool. Okay. I think it's a bamboo in the back. Norella from yeah. Noid. It says Norella from Noid in the back. Okay. Is that supposed Norella to be Norella from Noid behind it. <laughs> 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 I know you get excited about coral, Steve. There's so many. Oh, and another there. black coral. Another black oh. coral. Oh. Of them. Is that Lilla you know, Pappies? Let's see. It is a small batch patches in first in the front yeah, and the other one. Yeah, a couple. One. There's like three small wow. batch patches. Oh, yeah, it's true in the back. What's the uh, larger orange and one that so has? Amazing. I think that might be lilipathies. Um, I need to check. There's something in there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just zoom on everything. <laughs> is that another crinoid? Yep, the black one, the black thing. Oh, what is Hold this? Hold on, Pass, can we uh, zoom out, please? Oh no, that's a bamboo, isn't I'm it? Just I thought get I saw some bamboo. We'll, oh, it is uh, a bamboo. We'll yeah. We'll zoom in. Oh, maybe the Norella was something tiny. Is there two separate colonies there? Uh, looks like one big one. And then if we could zoom a little on this orange lilipat or orange whatever black coral in front. Just hung up on a rock here. Yeah. Give me a second. We'll sure. sit down and we'll get some good. We'll sure. look around and get some good views. Good question. So the spacing on the laser dot is 10 centimeters. We've got a question. Branching like pseudo alternata. Good, good. Okay, what do you want to see first? Um, the orange <laughs> coral in the bottom right. This little guy? Uh, yeah, the like pretty big one. Yeah, that one. I was one. wondering if that to be. Well, I think pushing you off. Cool yeah. views of the back of the polyamorous. It's a big gun. slope so that it doesn't want to sit properly, that's all. Yeah, and if we could really get in there. 
Mm. Right, come on. Just need a zoom, yeah. Stay. Trying to get some action shots anyway. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah. Oh, that probably was blurred. I think we're getting close to the top of this as the current has picked up substantially. Okay. It's mm -hmm. worth yeah. noting. I'm not sure. Definitely. We don't have. I haven't seen this species in the Northeast Atlantic for sure. Four rows of pinnules. Four rows of there. pinnules. Okay, so Jeremy Horowitz is thinking on it. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that current. Parentopathies. Potentially. Well, uh, par what are you thinking, Heisa? S looks like similar to Parentopathies. Yeah. But uh, I never see you so branches like that. You think it's worth a collection? Um, I always say. <laughs> Steve says yes, so let's go yeah. for it. Let's take a snip of that. You got it? Yep. Let's see if we can sit down. Oh, wait. I don't think we're moving that fast. So, yeah, all the way out, please. And a niskin as well. <coughs> yes, we do have room. We can take a niskin. So you can start, uh, oh, never mind. We're taking the sample first. So this one is the parent of these, correct? You want to take the mm -hmm. sample, and you want to take the niskin first. Ah, uh, the sample. Um, well, I gotta sit down for either, so just give me a second. <coughs> yeah, hopefully, we're close enough. It's actually really happy here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Collection first. It looks like a big fish swimming in the back too. All right. This is a cool spot. I like this. Yeah. So again, that'll just be a s snip of like one of these branches or something. And after, if you can get uh, some zoom images as well. Actually, can you zoom in? How much do you... Uh, maybe like a wee bit more than that. Yeah, something like that should be pretty good. Okay. Perfect. Oh Amazing. No. Thank you. Oh, the whole thing. Oh, oh no, no. It's more rigid than All right. Was. Well, well, whole colony. Got a whole, got a whole stock. Then we'll put that um, in starboard omega. Or sorry, uh, forward omega. Okay. Okay. The one that doesn't yes. have anything in it yet. Hi. Yes. Since it's pretty big. You want to rack in the camera? Oh, sorry. I'll do yes. that. I'll do that, I'll do that. Yeah, one thing sometimes we do uh, with us, we hold with one arm and we take yeah. Yeah, with another because indeed they're... Yeah, the dual arm ops are kind of not optimal on this 
vehicle. Yet. Yet. <laughs> that is okay. uh, NA153-007. You're welcome. Okay, cool. So let's see the description you got for that. Let's oh, oh, oh. Whole hold. colony parentopathy is, um, yeah, um, maybe the color. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, we lost the other one. No, Chrysogorgia. Uh, it might fall on the porch. Uh, okay. I'm surprised that popped it, out. It's the current. Wow, oh. really? Yeah, you can uh, see it right there. Like it's yeah. pushing it. Uh, so it created turbulence. Okay, there's no way to smoosh it back in with this coral. Um, I don't know. We could put wow, this one in so the starboard box and then I can try to grab that the way it is. And then try to push it back in. Obviously I can't grab it. Sure, it that that hand. works. So you want to put this in the, try to put this in the starboard. There is quite a bit of current here. I, I don't even know if, like, once I let this go, I'm not sure if it's going to drop in the box. Okay. Do you want to just put a hold? Do you want to, like, maneuver? It's held right now. What do you mean? Like, uh, like you want to just keep the, the arm there and maneuver somewhere else? So it's not, the current's, like, in our you're blocking favor. it, maybe? Um, I like that idea, but I have no idea where to go <laughs> where the current wouldn't be as bad. Like, I mean, we could yeah, yeah, go yeah. all the way back down the hill. I don't want to do that. Yeah. But I think that's uh, a bit of a waste of time, to be yeah, honest yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Let's it just try. I'll try to put this, like, right. I'll try to get the claw inside. right inside yeah. the box. Let's give that a try. Let, get, letting go. Okay, so um, if we're going to put it on the uh, starboard. Yeah, then? Starboard, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have to turn off the vert. So give me a second as I remember how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the sample on real quick. Okay. I'm not, I'm, I'm going to, I don't want to take my eyes off of yeah, this one that's in here. Yeah, I'll watch that. Okay, but I still want to give you the thing. Hold on a second. I don't want to tug on you either. There's a lot going on right now. All right, so hold on. Don't go in there oh. yet. Relay ISO. Uh, thrusters. Uh, we want starboard vert, right? Should we go for starboard? F. Um, oh. No, we what could put it in E with the rock. No. Okay, so we need a maneuver. So I could turn off the star revert. So like whatever you put in there doesn't get washed out. Um. Hey. Vert is pushing up, right? Because you're trying to go down. Right. So, sorry, I'm not for so not familiar with the frame of the vehicle. How much space is is, is there? You think that it's gonna feel that that wash? Because it's getting sucked up. Getting sucked up. Yeah. You do, eh? Okay. Uh, that's usually what we do with with more like daintier. Right. Um, them, but we could do it different because they are the the uh, the, 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 the 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 foam box is now like, and the thrusters are now angled in such a way so it's not directly on top of on top right. of the box. So it may not be an issue. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's uh, let's do a test. I'm gonna kind of put this over the over the push cores. All right, let me at least open it up. And for we'll you. see. All right, sample tray is coming. I think it's fine. I'm not seeing a lot of. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, you see. Mm. Uh, it's hard to say. And the bobbin's not helping with the. Yeah, 
It doesn't look like it's getting blown super hard. No, let's try. What, okay. what, what are we going to do? Not try? Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, you want to lift that box? Uh, your I think it's high enough. Where, where, uh, where are we putting it? Uh, we can put it in E but on top. Starboard. There's a rock in there. Starboard e. But e. it should still fit on top of the rock. Yeah, in E. Science and ROV while we're near the squirrel before we move on, would we be able to do some moves around it for camera calibration? I did not get any of that. Uh, You're like super soft. Let's secure these two dainty samples first, um, but we will not move on. Thank you. Does it look like it's rising? Uh. No, it's yeah. going. It's floating. It's floating. Um, what if we put it deep in F? We could try, like, there might be more room in F. Try and put it in more. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we can close that fast. I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. stay. Looks like it's gonna stay. Oh. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just pretty big and yeah. close it on that. Okay. So that was get in there? F. Wow. Ah, nice. If we it's lose, a, if we, it's because the shape, I think, yeah. If we lose a little or need to tap it in when it's closing, that's okay too. Yeah, um, I yeah, try to close it. Especially. Let's see if it goes in or pops out. Stay in there. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, bring it yeah, in a bit. Yeah, yeah. Bring it in a bit. Yeah. Bring the box in. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Get okay, right there. Stop. Nice. Teamwork. There we go. Ooh. Cut it off. That's okay. It'll just bend. There's there's, there's space there. It won't cut it. That might that might hinder us with a push core in the future, but. Okay. Great. Okay, um, so, okay, so let's go back to the front <laughs> and see if we can save uh, that other one. Mm -hmm. So I would just note somewhere that that's kind of kind of popping out E. Okay. Nope. Um, and then yeah, uh, see if what we can do about the Chrysogorgia. No, but the black core is safe, so it's perfect. <laughs> safe for now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can see it on and the And I, can, the I can't wait to see it. It's just amazing. Yeah. I hope nothing okay. happens to it. No, don't say that. <laughs> so the current was strong. Okay. And we open the... <laughs> You've been watching, Steve? We've got a number of things. We got a pretty good rock from around these sheet flows lower. We got uh, that black coral just now. This Chrysogorgia from earlier that. Really good. Oh. All right. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Change. Hopefully. Two, and the first one's really not great, but there was nothing to sample earlier. This was really like the first one we managed to, to collect. We poked hey, a lot. Um, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. And then we got that interesting sponge that looks like uh, Rigadrella, but like was well, a little different. And in the guide, it looks like one that's Rigadrella question mark. Um, okay, and um, then, oh, we haven't taken the eDNA sample from here. Okay, you want to open um, the box slowly. Oh, and we slurped. It was really fragile, so it's hard to take a grab uh, of. So we ended up slurping small sections of it, but um. Uh, 
it looked kind of like a euplectelid sponge that was encrusted. Um, that's all we got. And then Can you uh, can you bo uh, box out, please? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yes, let's do that. Thank you. Um, the sponge, last time I saw it, was like, it fell just inside the, like, it almost came out with the other one, and it fell, like, just inside it, so, like, we wouldn't be able to see it from that view. Or it fell out. Yeah. Right. It's also white, so we may, maybe just can't see it. No, um, it looks, it, yeah, it honestly looked like it changed in that uh, about a half hour that we've been sitting here. Uh, grip lock, there we go. Index, control X. It does, it's doing that. It does that. Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, it is variable. It just... Good morning, everybody. We are in the middle of a shift change right now, so just give us a minute to settle in. This is Brittany once again, one of the SCFs on board.
So we are still on that same dive that we started last night. We are exploring an unnamed guillot on the northern region of Johnston Atoll. Currently our depth is about 1,943 meters. And we do have the chat box open, so if anybody has any questions or comments that they'd like to send on over, please feel free to do so. All right, so just to address some of the uh, questions coming in in the chat. Um, thank you, we are glad to be back online. It's good to be here <laughs> with the four to eight crew. Uh, so again, it is uh, 4.05 in the morning here, Hawaiian Standard Time. Um, somebody was asking about the lasers that can be seen on the screen sometimes. And so I believe that those are used in order to get the uh, they're a sizing tool. So I believe that the lasers are spaced 10 centimeters apart. So based on how they show up on whatever is being measured, that's how we're able to determine how large the object or animal is that we're trying to measure. Good morning, Ashley's sister. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, the SPL. Uh, we're going to take a water sample, but I can't hear you, Herc. Uh, we're on SPL. We're going to take a water sample, yes. Are you on SPL? That's weird. Mm. 
SPL check. Um, We're still working on that wireless technology. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So we got a water sample. Yes. Um, and then after the water sample, we're going to do some triclaps um, calibration. Correct. Cool. Great. Uh, Karen, your mission, if you choose to accept, water sample. Those <laughs> are, you've seen them, the little lottery balls? Yep. Here. Um, Science, do you have a preference for which Niskin we're using? Uh, dealer's choice, but we haven't taken any yet, so your call. Okay. So to tell whether we've got a Nis we've got the Niskin fired, mm -hmm. we've got it looks like only a good view of. Ooh, we should move that camera. We've only got a good view of three of them. Um. Do we know which ones those? Oh. Oh, we can actually see better with the light off. Okay, so I see. One, two, three. Yeah, we see better with the light off there. Um, okay, we'll get the number probably from the ball that we pull. Uh, so these are the balls. And mm -hmm. then... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you want me to just follow you with pen and tilt on the way over? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Okie dokie. Science, you should be able to see the Niskins in the upper left. Copy. Mm. Right, sorry. Um, so, is the so hydraulics is not on yet, uh, Carfell is not on yet. Um, oh. So, our, do you have your blue button off right now? Yeah, it's off. Okay, great. Um, hydraulics coming up. And then uh, blue button when you're ready and go. So if you start, um, when you first press the blue button, if you have the trigger down, the jaws shouldn't open like that. Okay. Oh my god. So if I close the jaws, press the blue button, and then press it again, they'll stay closed? Or uh, yeah, but uh, yes. Um, yes, I believe so. Um, it's sort of muscle memory, so I don't know exactly what I do. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work. That's all right. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll have to. When I have the arm next time, I'll. You might need to be halted or something. I'll 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 go through it and figure out how I do it. Thanks. I saw, I saw something move in the back, oh the furthest aft. I see it. It's triggered. Yeah. Good oh job. Footballs, no. Good sample. It's 
NA 153 008. 008, thank you. And um, so we're putting a sample there, Niskin near a high density coral and sponge community uh, at 1943 meters. Is the default state you just leave the button off, this blue button? Yeah. Okay. So you can just set it down. That's not right, video. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to ch check Spying this. Spying on us back here, eh? Yeah. It's not, m it's not right. It's not moral. <laughs> <You're> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really need to see the back of the van. <laughs> That doesn't help you pilot, Gabby? <laughs> Reactions in real time? <clears throat> okay, so let's check in with Tim in the studio uh, to see where we're at. Tim, are you ready to uh, pick up and look for a coral to an image? Uh, currently, we are attempting to restart the software yeah, that so will when show I us what the camera sees. Uh, but I hit blue that, with this yes. down. It may have been a difference of stopping it with it. Probably. I don't know. Did you stop it with it halted? Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, Tim. Jesus. Tim is uh, restarting software. Okay. But it sounds like we can. It looks like that might be a good coral in front. Um, yeah. Or we can look around for another one. Okay, sounds good. So it looks like we just took the first sample of the dive of a of in one of the Niskin bottles, if I'm not mistaken and so i believe that we were trying okay, to collect something small. called edna am i correct on that science steve Th that is correct so this right. first uh, water sample of the dive we are aiming to collect water associated with high density coral and and even sponge communities but primarily coral communities um So that was a question I had when I first heard about eDNA, what is it, right? So I believe that the E stands for environmental DNA. So yep, so just fire the, uh, the right. uh, salvo that's in front of you, the fourth button, blue buttons on the left-hand side. Yeah, environmental DNA, that's correct. <laughs> The idea is basically that there's free-floating free DNA from animals that they shed, much like humans shed skin cells, uh, you know, after after a day um, or two. Animals do much the same down here, so we can sequence the DNA in the shedded material or the ex uh, expelled material and sequence that and tell who might be in an area. It's just another kind of just another kind of net, basically, that we use okay. to catch animals. <laughs> catch them without catching them. Exactly. Right now, we, in front of us, we have a large uh, branching bamboo coral. And there's also an unbranched bamboo coral to the lower left. Uh, we also have a couple of different species of glass sponges right in the middle of our view. Mm -hmm. I really like this giant one over here, this like club. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then there's the ones with the like Brussels sprout growth up the sides. <laughs> These are, this oh, is all yeah, I got sponges. for names. Yeah. 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 Well, that makes sense though. Yeah, yeah. It also reminds me of like zigzag ribbon, but I like the zigzag ribbon. Brussels sprout growth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you get us like, I don't know, five meters closer? Bring the sure. five meters closer yeah. to... Um, do you want Atalanta five meters closer? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we'll go up. Yeah, just like do, uh, do north. 
I'm gonna do a little bigger ship move. Um, yeah, 10 meters. There's definitely fine. current. Oh, okay, yeah, this way. awesome. Bridge now. Good morning. Uh, go do uh, one zero meters bearing zero. Tim, how's the uh, reboot going there? It is not there yet. OK, sounds good. Uh, video, can I get a zoom on this squirrel here? Yes, you can. Awesome. I sort of got to figure out how to optimize around the stereo cams. You can push in until we figure out what this little purple guy is. Crinoid? Yeah. Oh, nice. Keep going. It's a crinoid in the genus Sathirometra. Are all of the deep sea crinoids oh. in the same genus? They are not. Uh -huh. There are many. Okay. There are many, many, many. Although, um, I've been keeping an eye out. I haven't seen any of the stocked crinoids this this dive. Yeah. Which normally they're pretty abundant in this area. But like the red crinoids are different genus than. Not purple. usually. Yeah. Okay. Color is like, still one of those variable things. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a better shot of the bamboo coral here. Okay. Go wide. There are some associates in there. Oh, do you want better views of associates? Uh, well, I if we're waiting on the camera, we it, it would be super nice to sit down in front of it and okay. uh, get as close as you can and just pan, pan and tilt through the colony a little bit. Okay. Poke around. Uh, Tim, just give me a heads up when you're ready to go. Gabby? Yeah? I need to look at something on the Zeus camera and I'm going to take it to black uh, very briefly. Okay, sounds good. Okay, okay master pedestal is up way too high. I don't know why. So, so for folks wondering what the deep sea that. looks like. <laughs> Without <laughs> lights. <laughs> there we go. Can anybody explain what is a crinoid? Okay. Yeah, a crinoid is a type of echinoderm in the same group as sea stars. You good, Dave? Yes, we're good, thank you. Sea cucumbers and sea urchins. Uh, they come in two flavors, uh, kind of the, the ones you see right in front of you, the comatulids, and then also the, the stalked crinoids. Um, stalked crinoids are usually attached to the bottom and kind of are oriented upright. Um, and the feather stars, this one right in front of us, are uh, usually attached to some su some kind of substrate. Could be the seafloor, but it's usually something higher up, like a coral or a sponge branch. Uh, video, can you go wide on uh, Zeus? Thanks. Much better. So I'm most interested in kind of the right side of the colony. Can you aim at the porch with that? Mm -hmm. You're interested in the right. Yeah. Perfect. There's a couple of associated animals in there. I'd love to take a peek at. <coughs> so unfortunately, my video feed keeps uh, freezing up from the camera, which makes this operation difficult. Uh, still working on it. Okay, sounds good. We've got time, it seems like. Uh, okay, let's get a zoom video. So I am interested in zooming right here. Okay, I see it. Very 
very nice. So, uh, let's see. So this is a squat lobster right here that was on Paola's top top 10 list. What? Um, and it would be, I'm not sure how easy or difficult of a collection this could be, but it would probably have to take a small branch of that coral. What do you think, front row? What's the... Uh, yeah, it might take more than a one branch of that coral. That's fine. Um, is it going to want to bail out? Uh, this one uh, depends on how, how far down we cut it. If we cut it far from where it's located, it shouldn't move. Uh, so I'm thinking if, if you can grab you know somewhere like here, it shouldn't move very much. What do you um, think? Or do you need to do some pruning? There, it's... We are know. interested in the coral, too, yeah, so it's okay. not like we're trying to avoid the coral. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I always pick the yeah, hardest ones at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> It's good for Paula, though. She'll yeah. be happy. So I don't see how you're going to do it without taking it to other branches. With it. Yeah, yeah, I definitely will. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you're just trying to get the branch that's got that dead part on it, and the dead part is the one that's got lobster on it. Okay. And just remember with those jaws that you want, you're not going to, you want the Tygon tubing to be grabbing the part you want to keep the Mm-hmm. So science, where do you want this to go? Um, let's aim for the forward box. Uh, I think we managed to keep the floaty things not so floaty, right? Uh, um, they, they're they stuffed in there real good right now. Okay. Um, and I didn't see evidence that things were f like trying to escape right now. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go for the forward box in the, in the right hand uh, compartment. Okay, from looking at this, I think there's probably gonna be, I don't know, Four f there's going to be a bunch of branches that come with it. That's all right. Okay. Um, okay, uh, video, can you go wide? I might have to get us in closer. I mean, I, I don't see any other squat lobsters in the colony. That's what I was looking for. So I, I'd like to aim for that one in particular. Okay. Uh, so it looks good. Ready to go when you are. Okay. Um, I just have to pull in a bit closer here, so... So what was interesting for, for folks on shore, that what was interesting about this collection that, that we have to have is that this animal was observed on multiple previous expeditions, both by this ship and the Okeanos Explorer, and never collected. It is, it's a squat lobster, um, possibly a chirostylid, um, and it is completely on, the identification is completely unknown from this area, which makes it um, really valuable at uh, enhancing our knowledge of biodiversity and it, that it is a coral and sometimes a sponge associate and maybe a generalist at that, um, meaning it inhabits both corals and sponges, um, makes it really useful uh, if we can collect this and identify. A lot of these materials we cannot co identify to species on the sea floor. And, uh, while we're starting to learn more about corals and, and their identifications and sponges and their identifications, the, a lot of the associated animals are still relatively poorly known um, because we don't always collect the associated animals. Video, but can this I is get a, a what we call a two-four, two-four sample that would allow us to uh, understand this relationship in more detail. Yeah, that's that's the one. Okay. That's beautiful. Okay. So I think you'll uh, you'll look you'll see more when you get the jaws in there. But I think you're going to be trying to get there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, just do your thing. Yeah, no. I think as soon as I started that, it, um, the jaws opened. As soon as you started what? As soon as I turned the blue button on, the jaws opened. But okay. Yeah. Uh, go wide video.
So this is a yeah, squat lobster, possibly a chirostylid. Um, I'll put it in the chat. I will try and follow you best and that I way can here with both copy of these. And paste it if you um, but feel free to, to tell chat. me okay. either I got what you want me to do. Oh, you got it there. Perfect. Okay. And if you want to zoom, you can direct that information at uh, video. Okay. Video, let's get a bit of a zoom. Perfect. Is that the squat lobster yeah, that just it, failed? Yeah, it fell out. We can turn this into a, a slurp operation if uh, okay. if it'll cooperate. Okay, what's your suction jar that you want? Uh, what's open? Do we have any? Uh, everything but one and two, I believe. Yep, so three, three or four. Okay. Uh, stand by. And uh, these guys kind of bail out. Um, you know, they'll jet backwards, so we want to bring the slurp hose in behind it. Oh, gotcha. So, do we know that red is flush, Steve? Uh, I don't know okay. if red is flush. I, I'm assuming red is flush. Yes, Yeah. I would agree. It doesn't have to be in sequential order. Oh, he's trying oh, to get no. it. It's okay. Keep keep going and I'll move if we have to. This might be a slope sampling. <laughs> that would be extraordinary. Uh, video go a little wider. Great, stop there. Okay, now that you've got it, I'm just gonna flush real quick. Okay. And then we'll probably have to back up. Mm, yeah, we might be able to get the, okay. Uh, so. that, it, that the crab bailed from the coral so easily tells you a lot about its relationship with whatever type of thing it's on because oftentimes the, the associates that hold on very tightly and don't, mo rem don't move from corals when, he's co when we collect them indicates a stronger possible relationship between that associate and the crab. So this could be a generalist. Okay, so we're on three. And can't, let's see if we can see him here. Here. Yeah, I'm looking for him in bubble. Mm -hmm. I think it's under your porch. Yeah, I'm gonna try and back away. Uh, video, can you go full wide, please? Okay. So some of our Viewers online are wondering about the sampling process. Um, looks like we are going to try to slurp up a squat lobster. Uh, so that's one of the ways that Hercules is able to take samples from uh, the seafloor so that they can be observed a bit closer up here on the surface. Um, so again, this squat lobster is gonna... Video, can we get a zoom there? Is that him or her? <laughs> Uh, no, no I, I think it's in, if it's in that 
crevice or it might even be behind you. You might need to rotate around to the right. To the right, To, huh? to, to okay. get a better look in there. Or, or it could be under the porch till uh, tough to tell. Would it be worth just slurping the crevice? Um, unless we can see it, I don't know. Oh, th there it is. Oh. I think I see it right there. Oh, it's moving fast. It? Right here. It's a small, small individual. Yeah, right on the lasers right now. Okay, uh, let's get a zoom video. There he is, sweet. That is one mean crab. Okay, <laughs> go a little wide video. So um, if you can get the hose behind it as much as possible, that would be the most helpful because it's going to jet backwards. And you can, uh, yeah. Uh, and behind it would be where? Um, on the opposite side from where it is facing us. So it's facing okay. us now. So. Yeah, getting the hose on the other side of it, the far side of it. And then getting it right up close and then giving it full suction at the last minute when you're right up on it. All the beans. Okay. Wow. Okay, got it in bubble. You ready? Uh, oh shit, fuck off. I've got you with all suction, okay. You did jet away. Uh, let's see if he's still around. Full wide video? I don't see it. Uh, it could be under the porch again. Yeah. Well, let's try one more time. Yeah, sure. If it's under the porch, it'll be an easy setup. And then uh, if it's uncooperative, we hope we'll see it again. Never thought trying to catch a squat lobster at 4.30 in the morning would be so suspenseful. <laughs> but here we are. Okay. We will probably want to drop a plate soon. Do you see anything, Steve? I don't see it. Maybe I might have to back up a little bit more. Okay. It still might be under your porch. Uh, pr probably back up a little bit more. It's somewhere in, uh, I'm thinking it's somewhere in this area, but the porch is normally more extended than usual, so it's hard to get the, the down view.
there he is. You see it? Oh, yeah, oh there you right go. There. And it's and it's facing its its back is facing you too this time, okay. so it should be easier. Give it one more try. These, these crabs have ninja skills, though. They can see you coming a mile away and jet out. And by sea, I mean, like, sense. So I'm not landed yet, so it's going to be... Okay, do you want me to wait? Or? Uh, no, you can actually go for okay. it. I've got the suction on already. Right. Awesome, thank you. I was wondering why I didn't have a lot of control. It's because every hydraulic function is running all the way. Uh, you can do a little zoom video. I'll just fly it. This time it's going the right way. Get in. Okay. Yes. There you go. Finally. Well cool. done. Okay, so we have to wait for him to show up. There it is, there Jar three. Suc suction off and Suction is off, and then he's going to try plan. and get out, right? Um, I don't think so. They're, okay. They'll sit down, yeah. Okay. Very so well done. Expertly this. done, front row. Um, what's Teamwork. that? work. I'm just going to try and knock this back. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Like stuck. There it goes. Ooh. Okay. So zero, zero, 009. I do finally have working video. If anything oh, you're perfect ready. timing. All right, so now we're going to do a test of the camera system that's on the front porch. Yeah, bucket number three, yeah. You can actually see you see that you can see the jars of the carousel in the second frame over on the bottom screen. Yeah. Sweet. Good one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we're just trying to hit Tim, uh, do you copy? Affirmative. Okay. You are so quiet. Um, okay, so we're just trying to hit all the corners of the screen here. Do you have a range that you want? I don't think so. Whatever gives you comfortable room to move. Okay, sounds good. Um, are you ready to start acquiring? Uh, yep, just a second to confirm. We are rolling. Okay. Okay, Tim, I think that gets the left half of the screen. And I think that's the right. And I think we got plenty of the center. Is that about what you're looking for? Uh, as far as I know, that's good. If you can give one or two more sweeps across, uh, I think we're good. The ship, this is Shore, Jonathan speaking. 
Can yeah. you copy? Yeah. Hey, so if you can, can you please keep the ROV so it's moving just a little bit more laterally um, as you move to the left and right? So instead of sweeping the frame with the camera, you're actually moving the ROV to the left and right and up and right. down. Right. Um, just to kind of rotating or not rotating, uh, traversing it. <clears throat> yes, traversing. Thank you. And if possible, maybe eyeball the base of that coral as the point of reference for the corner of your frame and use the base, bounce the base like those old DVD hold logos that used to happen. Bounce that base between the corners as you're going left and right. Thank okay. you. I'll give that a go. And yeah, this distance is fine. Whatever distance is most comfortable for you. So we have some viewers that are wondering about the coral that we're seeing. Um, so we are seeing coral and we're also seeing some um, sponges as well. So yeah, these are both animals. They are not plants. We d actually don't have any plants that live um, on the ocean floor. It's way too dark for them. They don't have any way to photosynthesize or um, get any light that they need to survive. So. Right now we're taking a look at some corals and different types of sponges as well. After we're done with this uh, calibration, we'll start to head up slope again. We don't, uh, nav, just heads up. Uh, we don't need to hit waypoint four. We can just start tracking the waypoint five after we're done here. Fantastic. We really do want to try and at least get to waypoint six by the end of this dive. That's okay. the, the summit of this seamount. Right. Sometime over the next, uh, say, seven hours, I think we have. Seems doable. Yeah, let me get a distance estimate. Yeah, I'd say that's doable. 1,160 1, meters. Oh yeah, totally. Usually we're averaging, well, we'll find out what our watch's average is, but usually about 200 plus meters an, uh, an hour. Mm-hmm. Most watches. 200 to 300. Lightning speed, 200 meters an hour. That's uh, usually the stop and look around speed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that's great um, for the calibration. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, Shin, anything look good on your end? Let me uh, check to make sure it recorded the things that we're supposed to record, and then, uh, yeah, we should be. most photographed coral in the world. <laughs> Do you want me to um, pull up the TMS or offset the Atalanta? Uh, yeah, you can come up. Okay. Like, 
I don't know, 22 should be fine. Okay, coming up. So okay. Gabby, once Tim is all set, um, yep. we'll let you drive ahead, but I'll, we'll start moving 260 with the ship. 260, okay. So yeah, we'll be upslope for the rest of our watch. Uh, actually, before we do that, uh, we can drop a plate. Okay. This, I, let me just check this spot real quick to make sure that we're not dropping it on something. Yeah, that seems like a good spot. Yeah, okay. Uh, stand by one. That's an interesting double sponge there. And uh, stand by just a second. This is, just want to make sure the auto altitude is working right. And it looks like recordings were good. Okay. Awesome, Great. Tim. Steve, is this? Thank you so okay. much. You're good to go. Okay. Um, Steve, is that two stock sponges together on the left, or is that one with um, two yeah. pom poms? So yeah, that looks like. Uh, can't tell if it's uh, Colophagus or or yeah. Sacrocalyx or one of those, but yes, sometimes they they do have two heads. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yep. That one looks more like a colophagus. I can I can write it down. Yeah, it should be in the I think it's the Rosellidae family colophagus. Yes, Rosellidae. Once again, for those of you just joining us live um, online, we are currently hey. on Expedition NA-153 uh, near Johnston Atoll. We are currently exploring an unnamed guillot. Lots and lots of coral, lots of uh, different types of sponges. Somebody was asking me what the two puff balls, uh, two puff balls that we're seeing on the bottom left screen are. Those are a type of sponge. Yes. I have, a, I have a request from a scientist ashore. If, if before we leave here, we can zoom on, on this uh, pink, pink oh, yeah. coral. Steve, can you repeat that request? Yeah. So if you can do it, just a quick zoom on the way out on this pink coral. Yeah. Cool. And then we'll be ready to go. Mm. What would you like me to? Is this type type? I'm just I'm not saying we, we're gonna take any, but it, like this type of rock material. This is the stuff you'd like to sample, or or do you look for more in place material? Um. Uh, yeah, this the one over here was looking like something what, we might want to sample. Uh, 
that's it humongous. It wouldn't fit in the box. Yeah, it's hard that to thing gauge um, what, what the size something is. Something that's you know, um, more reasonable would be something more like like these sizes. Yeah, those would probably be. Yeah. So just the the bit that's right there. Good. Let's we're, we're this the slope is quite moderate here, so let's uh -huh. let's head up slope a little bit and along our track, and then we'll keep looking for this. Yeah. It's not going to be you know this uh, this high high slope, so probably we try should to have something uh, opportunity. Yeah, this one, yeah. Before we not hit the light hook line in the next hundred so meters or so. Yeah, you know we'll we'll pick up a, at least a couple of rocks. Yeah, what's the light hook line depth at this uh, region? I don't know. No. Good question. Hmm. Yeah, so currently um, it seems like we have been focusing a bit more on the biological aspect of this particular guillot. So we've just a few minutes ago sampled a uh, squat lobster and you know taking really close looks at the coral and things like that but while we're on this expedition we also are very interested in the geological makeup of this area as well so we do have some scientists on board who are taking a look at those rocks and seeing if maybe we can get some samples of them and understand the geological aspect of this area a bit better uh, a while ago, somebody asked in yes. the chat what's one of the most interesting things that we've found in this area. And um, again, this is my very first time aboard the EV Nautilus, my very first time around the Johnston Atoll area. But uh, we did at one point find a megalodon tooth. So my personal opinion is I, I think that's probably one of the most amazing things that we've found around yeah, what this is section. That? that is a very strange shape. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gabby, you're We're off the wheel. Well, let, one thing at a time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is a very strange shape. My my gut tells me it's a sponge stock, but it looks like a lambda symbol. Mm -hmm. Symbol. <laughs> wish okay, go for wish zoom bone. Yeah. Okay, stop yeah. there. So uh, this is a. Um, precious coral. This is a uh, in the genus Hemichorellium. This is you something can push that past the Zeus there. has been seen on this dive earlier. Video, just push a little bit in past the shroud of the stereocam. Sorry. There you go. You can push in. Oh, never mind. Uh, that's. You can push in a little more. Uh, Hemichorellium? Yeah, I'll write it in the chat. Mm. Yeah, there you go. With a, um, a brittle star, probably an asteriscomatid, or whatever they're called now, urealid. Okay, go on. Great. Okay. Um, and you wanted to look at another thing too? Yeah, well, it, it is curious. Like, there's this strange lambda shape, ro rocky. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. That is weird. I'm feeling it. We have had a very um, interesting history of odd-shaped bones on the seafloor over the past few seasons. It looks like a wishbone, like a giant yeah. wishbone. We found a lot of whale bones in the Kingman and Palmyra region earlier this year. Even, even in Johnston last year, we just didn't collect many of them. We collected mm. one, but uh, we were seeing one per dive on, on average. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Fossilized whale bones, correct? Yes, yeah. fossilized. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, we haven't seen any fresh material, although there was um, some observations in Kingman Palmyra. Were you on watch for that, um, where they saw the... Ossodax? Ossodax, yeah. Go for zoom. Man, yeah, that totally looks like a bone. Oh, yeah. Or it could be uh, it could be like a sponge or a coral, right? Yeah, I think it's a sponge stock. Dang. Uh, yeah, there you go, video. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Looking pretty spongy. The, the eye sees 
what it wants to or something like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go okay. Away. Yeah, thank you all. I think um, it's the heart sees what the heart wants. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whatever. Anything whale, I we, want we it. Make our, we make it up as we go Oh, here. that sponge does look like it's one stock with two uh, yeah. sponge pom-poms, though. That's cool. Okay. Okay. I am going to catch up here. So we're going 260, you said? 260. Okay, I'm actually in a good spot. Yeah, you're great. Um, science, anything else here? No, we are ready to so move. So can you great. bring the heading of Atalanta to around uh, 260? Yeah. So I'm going to do a small 30 meter step to start. Sound good? Uh, yeah, sounds great. Kay. Bridge now. Three zero meters, two six zero, please. Yeah, there's a lot of sponge rubble here. I, I suspect among all these rocks, there's a lot of sponge rubble as well because um, the slope kind of moderates here after coming down from a very steep angle, it moderates as it uh, projects out from the seamount. So you probably get the accumulation of a lot of debris material from upslope. And can you set bubble to gauges? amazing so many of the fragments looked like uh, vertebrae to me yeah those are um, that's a particular type of sponge yeah, the current uh, is it's really strong it's it's off sponge. The cool. yeah so it's a ferraid um, <laughs> I think those were the ones that were affectionately known as ferraid a turbocharger uh, <laughs> during capstone Please explain. I I, could, I can't tell you why they're called that. Okay. It's um, <laughs> proprietary. No, the an the annotators, um, friends of the Nautilus uh, live program. Um, actually, I, uh, I think they may have been out recently. Um, from the well, I guess it used to be called the Hawaii Undersea Research Lab, but uh, now called the Dark Lab at UH Manoa. D A R C. Um, they do the annotations for the Okeanos Explorer, and they have affectionately called uh, some of these sponges uh, names that are reminiscent of physical objects. Um, since a lot of the taxonomy is poorly known, especially for sponges um, and somewhat for corals too, uh, we often will put in a, uh, a place name uh, or, or a name that is reminiscent of what it looks like. Sponges in particular because they can take such a variety of different morphologies. Um, but if anyone out there in the world ever wants to work on sponges, it's greatly needed. Uh, try to resolve some of the taxonomic and systematic issues amongst that group. Still not getting turbocharger from this. Yeah. <laughs> that was a long but answer to I, not get an answer. I, I, can't, I can't tell you. <laughs> I, I don't know. What, I mean, what is a turbocharger? I know, yeah. yeah. I think my favorite sponge that I've recently learned about so far is the one that looks like a little piggy's nose. It's, I think it's mm -hmm. the ET sponge. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Love it. At Vena Magnifica. Wow. We might see some yes, here. One. Yeah, look What's at all these. This is all sponge rubble down here on the, on the bottom. Oftentimes, sponges, they're made out of glass spicules. Um, most of the species we find down here anyway are made out of glass spicules and um, that silica material doesn't dissolve as, as easily as calcium carbonate does. So oftentimes we find a lot of silica debris and silica rubble um, on the seamount landscape. Sometimes it's manganese encrusted too, which provides another layer of protection against degradation, but that takes a very long time and maybe microbially mediated. Uh, it's a process we really don't understand well um, with respect to how crusts accumulate on dead biology. Hey, Samantha. Hold in, yeah. Weather's uh, around 16 knots, current 1.7. Everything's good on the surface. Sorry, did I hear a question for me? Yeah, uh, when you get a chance, can you, we have a viewer who's curious to know more about what it takes to be a navigator. Sure. What did you have to study to, to do this? <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of on-the-job training. 
<laughs> um, before we, I can't answer that. Um, let me just ask Gabby, we just, we're about to complete the move. You wanna just keep moving? Uh, yeah. Science, okay to keep moving? Yes. Bridge, Nav. We can add another three zero meters to two six zero. Thanks. So there's a couple of black corals in the frame, as well as uh, a pink uh, hemichorellium brushless coral. And then we've got a number of these uh, kind of leafy blade-like uh, glass sponges. Yeah. Uh, so the one in the background is probably dead, and the one in the foreground is, is most likely uh, still alive, at least in parts. Yeah, this is a, this is a, I haven't had a, a long chance to watch the dive, only since about three o'clock this morning or so, but this is by far the, uh, most diverse community we've come across. It's not extremely high density, but the diversity is here. It's, it's typical and characteristic of these depths. Um, but, you know, fortunately, you know, th this is uh, the third Nautilus expedition at Johnston Atoll, and uh, there have been many, many dives previously here by the NOAA ship Okeanos Explorer and others. And so, um, we don't need to collect every single thing here to be able to identify it. Um, so we have a, a very vast library of collections of corals and sponges um, from uh, that, that are housed at repositories uh, like the, the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History and then um, the, the Museum of Comparative Zoology where Nautilus deposits its materials. What is that? Oh, oh. I lost my Telestrator pencil. Hold on. <laughs> you want? The, we can get the, the right, stick of right. science out. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. The long brown stalk there. Yeah. So, so this is. Um, yes, it's a black coral. Probably. Uh, trying to discern a genus ID if possible, but it strikes me as a Parantopathes. Uh, it has two squat lobsters on it, but they're kind of right in the middle. Um, yeah. It was, my, my other thought was that could be a sea pen because sometimes the sediment, yeah, Parantopathes, then it could be a sea pen because they often, uh, uh, you know, sea pens will have their peduncle in the sediment, which often accumulates in crevices. But that's good enough. Yep. Bridge, Nav. And the, the substrate requirements for sea pens can be quite minimal. Let's add five zero meters to two six zero. Very interesting. Uh, Keep going. Yeah. Colony morphologies here. Keep moving, yeah. Roger. Looks like there's a big rock behind you. Yeah. Okay. The the uh, yeah. After the end of this next move, we might want to look for a rock. Um, yeah, bef before it gets too steep um, is what we're aiming for. Okay, yeah, it's, it's kind of flattening out here in the next uh, 